So we've just received in Samsung's latest flagship SSD drive, the 990 Pro in two terabytes. Now this is a PCI4 SSD with read speeds apparently up to 7,450 megabytes a second. So we're gonna unbox this drive and take a look at it. We're gonna install it in my laptop and show you how that's done. We're then gonna benchmark it for the speeds and the temperatures and test it against the previous 980 Pro from Samsung and also the fastest drive from Western Digital, the SN850X, which is our previous fastest drive. So to start, let's unbox it and take a look. So here we go, the 990 Pro. Now they do this in various capacities from 512 to two terabytes. I've got the two terabyte here, and I believe there's a version without the heatsink and with a heatsink. Now, if you're buying this for your laptop, or if you've got a motherboard that's got its own heat sinks over the SSD ports, make sure you get the bare drive like this. If you're putting it in somewhere in a motherboard without the heat sinks already installed, then you can buy the heat sink version. So this is the drive itself. And as you can see, this is a single-sided drive, which is perfect, it will fit in your laptops. The double-sided drives are usually the higher capacities, like four terabytes. And the problem you have is a lot of laptops, they sit too flush, so double-sided drives will not fit. This will be no problem in all the laptops out there. And we've also got the warranty statement. And they also include Samsung's Magician partition software so that you can actually clone your previous operating system, especially if you're on a laptop, over to the new drive. And that's something we will do a video on in the near future. And this drive does come with a five year warranty, which gives you that peace of mind as well. And that's something I love about Samsung drives. So now we're gonna install that in my trusty Alienware X17R2 here. Now the Alienware X17R2 is a great laptop to upgrade because it's very easy. We just do a few screws on the base plate and it pops right away, giving us full access to the two M.2 slots. Now I've got one slot currently populated with a heat sink, and you can see the SSD slot two is ready to be populated by this new drive. But before we install the new SSD, we're gonna quickly unplug the battery so that we're not gonna do any damage to the laptop itself. Once you've unplugged your battery, we're gonna take our SSD and we're gonna slide it at a very slight angle into the M.2 slot and push it down. Now hopefully your laptop will come with a second heat sink for this SSD. If it doesn't, you can buy heat plates from Amazon, which you can then put on to actually keep these cool because these PCI Gen 4 drives do run quite hot. Now we screw the SSD drive down, we just plug the battery back in and screw the base plate on, it's as simple as that. And we're now gonna boot back into Windows so we can start the testing. Okay, so you've booted up your laptop with your new SSD installed, and it won't show initially. We first have to initialize that disk. So if you right click on the Windows flag, and you choose disk management, and you have your fresh drive installed, it's gonna automatically pop up and say, do you wish to initialize the disk? Follow the prompts and say yes. You'll see your new disk in here, and it'll be unallocated. Right click on the actual drive itself and format it. Follow the prompts and name the drive something that's gonna be familiar to you. Leave it to default unless you want to change the actual drive letter. In my case, because I have a drive before it, which is the C drive, it will automatically default this one to the D drive, and that's perfect for me. So now that it's formatted, it will show in the D drive, in my case, on File Explorer. Although it's a two terabyte drive, whenever they're formatted, you don't get exactly two terabytes. it will be about 1.8 terabytes in total, but still a nice healthy space for, say, a games directory. So what I'm gonna do is run Crystal Disk Mark. I've got five runs through Crystal Disk Mark with Crystal Disk Info running at the same time so that I can monitor the temps whilst looking at the actual speed of the drive itself. Now if I jump straight through to the results, you can see it's putting some impressive performance out of this drive with a read speed on the sequential at over 7,000, that's really impressive. And a write speed at 6,600, which is also very impressive. Now comparing that to the 980 Pro, the previous flagship from Samsung, we're getting a very slightly better read speed, but a 25% improvement over that sequential write speed. And despite being a much faster drive, the temperatures were right in line with the same that we had on the 980 Pro, with a max temperature on this 990 Pro of 58C with the laptop's inbuilt heatsink. But when we compare it to Western Digital's flagship drive, the SN850X, it's a little bit more tricky. Now, the 990 Pro does put in a good performance, but the SN850X is very slightly faster. It's got a slightly faster write speed, and it's got a very slightly faster Q1 speed than the 990 Pro. So for pure all-out performance, that SN850X does beat the actual Samsung 990 Pro. But, and there's always big but, the 990 Pro runs so much cooler than that Western Digital SN850X. And if, especially if you're putting it into a laptop, that's very important. 
with this, and this is probably the worst case of a PC with a much bigger heatsink will run cooler. 58C, maximum temp that we got on this 990 Pro. In comparison, the Western Digital SN850X got 71C in the same test. And for me personally, I'm not quite so comfortable when you're hitting the 70Cs for an SSD. So overall, despite being very, very slightly slower, and we're talking only so in benchmark, you'd never notice it in real world performance, it's much, much cooler than the Western Digital offering. So overall, this is an absolutely fantastic drive. You're paying a premium because it's PCI 4 and it is incredibly quick, but it doesn't run that hot, which is impressive. It's incredibly fast. You have five years warranty, and it even comes with some cloning software if you're buying a laptop and you want to clone your existing disk over to the new drive. So in my opinion, this is probably one of the best flagship drives available for your laptop or your PC at the moment. Now, as always, love to know your thoughts on this drive or any other drives that we should, we should test. Pop it in the comment sections down below. And lastly, thank you for watching.